to Cravings for Adventures. I'm Karen Amir and I'm so excited today because I have my friend Mary Rafto in the house. Woo! Thank you for having me, Karen. I'm so excited. Mary has been on several TV shows, the most famous one being Recipe to Riches. That's where I followed her as she auditioned and as she went on to the finale. Mary has some amazing recipes. One of them that she shared with me earlier is the jerk sauce that is so popular on my channel. It came from right here. Hot and spicy, baby. And you know what Mary says? It's your sauce, you the boss. That's right, baby, you the boss in the kitchen. Today, Mary is going to show us how to make Softfish fritters, aka stamp and go, right from Jamaica, the blessed island where everything is everything. What on earth is stamp and go? Oh, I'm glad you asked, Karen. Stamp and go. Actually, softfish fritters, known as stamp and go in Jamaica, was one of the first original fast food takeout type of foods. And a stamp and go just means that when people went to uh, get their uh, fish or fritters, they would wait and they'd be stamping their feet because they couldn't wait to eat these fritters. Are They're you that serious? good. I'm serious. Jamaicans are impatient. We love you, but you want <laughs> it fast. Well, it is fast food, so come on. Stamp and go, stamp and go, right here, right here. There you go. So before we go any further with this recipe, Mary, I just want to ask you one more thing. What makes your uh, saltfish fritters unique? Well, you want to keep to the basics, right? You don't want to change something that it doesn't look like the original recipe, but you always got to put something, 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 and I put something, something, because that's just the way I am. And uh, traditionally, I know Jamaicans are going to just roll over and say, Nasa, Nasa, but I'm putting corn. That's right, you heard me, corn. And another thing I do differently is that I fry all up of my seasonings. Now, those who have cooked Jamaican food, you know that the seasonings is the most important thing. Karen, let me tell you, if you invite a Jamaican over your house and they say something tastes fresh, I'm telling you, they're not giving you a compliment. They're saying, girl, something missing. Seasoning, seasoning, seasoning. And that's what we have here. So another uh, change that I made or an addition, because you know me, something, something. I also put cilantro. That's going to be a little bit later, but cilantro is fresh. It's delicious. If you don't want to put it in, don't put it in. It's your recipe. You're the boss. We're just giving you some ideas, baby. <laughs> And speaking of something, something, there's something about Mary. So before we go any further with the recipe, make sure that you're subscribed to my channel and make sure to ring the bell, that's YouTube's new bell icon that will notify you every time I upload a new video. Now, Mary, let's start cooking. Are we ready? We're ready. We're ready. We get with the music, we say go with the flow. I said one for the money, we said two for the show. to get Okay, so now, Karen, what I did was I put some oil in the pan. We want to get it nice and hot before we start frying up our uh, seasonings. So for the saltfish fritters, obviously we have saltfish. Tell me about the saltfish because I've never used this before. Like, where can oh. I get it? How oh, I what? It? No saltfish, Karen. Yeah. I know, Jamaica, they're saying, what? Aki and saltfish. I'm a saltfish virgin. Oh, she's a saltfish virgin. Don't worry. We're breaking her cherry today. <laughs> so. Saltfish you can get anywhere, any grocery store. Uh, it comes in packages and you usually find it in the fridge section, usually where the fish is. And it's salted, so it's very salty. It's cured and it's for preservation, obviously. So it's salty, salty, salt, salt. Did I say it was salty? It's salty. So what you need to do is soak it overnight in a big bowl. You put cold water, you put your salt fish and change the water several times throughout the 24 hours. Or you can do like us Jamaicans. And what we do is we take the salt fish, we put it in a pot, we boil it up three times, changing the water each time. And that way it helps it cook and we're good. And the salt gets removed, but it always have a little bit of salt. So be very careful when you're adding additional salt. But you don't have to boil it. You, you don't, don't have to boil it. No. Okay. So as I said a little bit earlier, seasoning, seasoning, seasonings. Jamaicans love their seasoning. So quickly here we have some onion. We have scallions, which uh, North Americans call green onions. We have the Scotch bonnie pepper baby. Wow. Hot, hot, hot. That baby packs a punch of heat. So you use as many as you want because what are we? You the boss in the, the boss. kitchen. It the boss. And we have garlic, not garlic, we have garlic there. So remember, seasoning, 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 red peppers, we have tomatoes, we have allspice, fresh thyme, we have garlic. I know, Jamaicans, turn away, turn away, but my corn, I love it. If you don't want to add it, don't add it. 
And of course, the star, the saltfish. Karen is introduced to saltfish. Woohoo! Woo so let's get started. We've got a nice pan, it's nice and hot. I can feel it. Here we go. Oh, that's what you want to hear the sizzle. Sizzle, right, Karen? We have sizzle. It already smells. Can you remind me again what's in here? There's so we have red pepper, we have scallions, aka green onions. Yep. And we have um, onion, regular, uh, regular, regular white onion, onion, white okay. onion. If you want, you can use red onion. It's you know, like I said, you know what? You use what you have in hand. But this is very important. And like I said, for Jamaicans, the Scotch bonnie pepper and uh, the uh, the scallions, very, very important. Okay. So we're just gonna fry this up a How few minutes. How much scotch bonnets went in here? Because I know some people don't like it spicy, so could you like add a little bit more, yeah, add a bit less? Yeah, exactly. If you want a really spicy two and three, you don't want it as spicy, use one. You use can, the boss. Use the boss, remember, and you can de-seed it, although Jamaicans, we don't de-seed nothing, <laughs> all the pepper goes in. Oh, you don't de-seed? No de-seeding in Jamaica, the blessed island, what we love you guys. And Jamaican food is really flavorful. It has just a pack of punch of Oh, yumminess. And remember, something, something. So in go the tomatoes, which I chopped and Karen helped me chop. And then we need a little bit of seasoning, more seasoning with uh, allspice and thyme. Now, I don't think it's traditional that people add allspice, but again, I like something, something. Mary likes something, something. Cause for a lot of people that don't know what Jamaican allspice is, it's also called uh, pimento. Pimento. It's pimento berries, and you can get them in most stores like even regular big box stores just look for pimento and they look like big peppercorns yes but exactly. they're not very dark and they have an incredible incredible, flavor. incredible. most people think all spice is so many spices it's not as no. karen said it's just one berry the all spice berry okay the pimento berry okay so there we go we got our garlic Mm -mm -mm. Garlic, garlic makes everything better i love it keeps the vampires away. It keeps the vampires away that's what we want Okay, there we go. And the corn. Okay, it's good. You don't want to use it, don't use it. You can even use Kalaloo. And if, for those who don't know what Kalaloo, it's, a, it's, it's very much like spinach. It's in the spinach family and it's grown in Jamaica. So you can use Kalaloo. I even do this with ackee. So it's like eating ackee and saltfish in one bite. It's so good. And then, of course, we got... The fish! The fish! Karen, first, first, first time! Okay, and there you go. And that is it, basically two more minutes of frying. And again, you don't have to do this. You can add all of this raw into the batter, but I just like depth of flavor. Where I can add flavor, we're gonna add flavor. And it only takes a few minutes. And, and that's it. So now uh, we're gonna allow this to cool. Yep. And uh, what about this uh, cilantro that you Now the cilantro, we're gonna add at the end, once it's cooled and we okay. do our batter, that's when we'll add the cilantro because most herbs, if you want to really maximize the flavor, you use it, use it at the end just to give that nice freshness. So we'll just wait now for this to cool. I'm going to turn off the heat. Is that perfect. okay? Perfect. Perfect. Thank you, Karen. I wish I had her in my kitchen all the time. Maybe wow. we can do some dancing. Oh, a little reggae. Oh. Let's, let's do it, <laughs> let's baby. Do it. We'll come back. Man, you know what I talk about. West Indian flavor, man. All right, Karen. Now our soft fish fritter mixture is nice and cool. We can get started on the batter. This is the way I do it, but it works. So here we go. We have our eggs, just regular eggs from the chicken. Thank How you, chickens. Answers? We have two eggs. We thank our chickens for our eggs. Cluck, cluck. We have a little bit of milk. I'm using 2%. How much milk? About half a cup, half a cup right here. You might need a little more. Always keep a little more on hand just in case if the batter is too thick. Just a little mix here. Now you don't have to use, if you don't want to use milk, if you're intolerant or whatever, you can use water or even coconut milk. Coconut so give it, milk is yeah. A uh, mm -hmm. Coconut, I love co coconut. I put that in everything. Okay. Or almond milk. Or almond milk too. That's a great suggestion. In goes our flour, that's a cup. No, sorry, three quarter cup flour and three to four tablespoons of cornstarch. Why I add cornstarch, you ask? It makes it even more crispier. Oh, what a Ooh, great idea. Yeah. Now, is this, uh, you can substitute the flour as well, I presume, right? For, yeah. For gluten-free flour, okay. gluten intolerant. Absolutely. Abs I want everybody to enjoy this. Okay, so don't overmix because we don't want to overwork the gluten. You know, we're not making bread, which in, in which case you want to. But this, you want a nice, light, crisp texture. Okay, so there you go. 
It's done. That portion is done. That's it. That's it. Simple, simple, simple. Now we'll add the star, the soft fish mixture right in there right in there baby it goes all in oh it smells so good you know what you're totally right about this corn because it looks amazing it's see so much color in there. yeah there's something about mary as she said i'm telling you something something i like something 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 about mary there we go we're just going to mix to combine and you might think that oh that's not going to be enough flour or milk but trust me it is going to do its thing it looks perfect there you go and it's done. Remember, one rule, don't overmix. And we're done. Now we can start frying these beautiful babies and we can eat <gasps> crispy, light, yummy, flavorful. What more do you want? Softest fritter, stamp and go right here in Karen's kitchen. Before we leave, we forgot my one other something something and that is the cilantro. Now, if you don't want cilantro, don't add it. You can add other herbs, but I love cilantro. Mm. Now we can start frying these bad boys. Okay, Karen, now it's time to fry up these beautiful babies. The batter is ready for our sawfish fritter, AKA Stamp and Go. We got our nice pan with our oil nice and hot. How do you know if it's hot? Well, one, it's smoking. One, it's smoking, okay, no brainer. But if it wasn't smoking, just take a little bit of your batter and there you go, the sizzle, sizzle, you know it's ready. All right, but since Karen's the smarty pants, she sees that it's smoking, we know it's ready. So we're gonna drop these in by tablespoons. And now in Jamaica, they like them nice and flat. They're fritters, so it's nice and crispy. But you don't have to, if you want to give them a little bit more body, you can just add them in like this, so they're a little bit fuller, you know, they look pretty, whatever you like. But I like them flat too. See, sometimes flat is good, right? And maybe stamp and go, the name came from like pressing them down. Yeah, to that's make what them. I thought. Yeah, stamp but on them. Yeah. I read that it's, Stamp and goes because the people in Jamaica, when they were waiting for their, their salt fish fritters to be ready, they'd be stamping. Now this might be a little bit too hot because you see how quickly it is turning. Yeah. So we might want to lower it a little bit. So Karen, there we go. So we're going to let those go. Oh, you can just feel how crispy. Look crispy oh. and the, I love, you know what I love? That corn that you put in there. It's so beautiful because see? you can see all of those yes. come through these fritters. Look so amazing. So not only does it look amazing, but it gives a nice, nice flavor. You know what oh, they say, sweetness. Right? You eat with, with your, your eyes. eyes. That's well, right. That your food looks, looks good. good. That's right. You tell them, Karen. There we go. Oh, sorry, Karen. Okay, I'm all over the place here. Now, these are a little bit darker than I want, but they're still perfectly fine. And uh, literally, it takes one minute per side, maybe two and you're done. It's that easy, that easy, baby. And then you get to enjoy them. You can enjoy them with some nice chutneys, a nice cream, lim lime cream sauce, whatever you'd like. It's all good. These are great for breakfast. In Jamaica, they have them for breakfast or as an appetizer, baby. Look at that. So where do you want me to put, them? put them? down there. Right there, look. Oh, Beautiful. Beauty. They're gorgeous. So we're gonna get that cooking a little bit more. And that's it. And then you continue with your soft fish fritters, AKA Stamp and Go, flatten them down. I can't believe we started with such simple ingredients. Simp it is very right? simple. And now we have these delicious fritters that we're going to enjoy later. Yes, for they're delicious, yummy. Oh. One is never enough. I'm warning you, you heard me. One is never enough. You've been warned, <laughs> okay? There we go. This one is done. See, this just gives it a little bit of height. Just some, uh, something to look at. But you know what? The flatter they are, the surface is gonna be on the pan, which makes it crispy. But you do what you want. What do we always say? What do I say? It's your fritter, you the boss. You the boss. Let's, let's, let's this flip this over. Yeah. There we go. That's how simple it is, baby. Just keep on working, keep on working. And Let's then you do can another enjoy batch them. and then we can have lunch. What do you Absol think? That sounds good. I'm ready. I'm always ready to eat. I love to eat. Why do you think I cook? Ah. And Jamaican food, mwah. We love Jamaican food because we're always craving the Caribbean and Indian food. Craving with a K. With a K. Now these are so delicious. This is ready to eat. Up 
me say, listen, I pay attention. Me say, yes, I call the people want your ear this, you want. So, who not understand better? Pay attention. Yeah, hear this, I'll find upon the cool crowd microphone stand. You match, that's fear, big room, man. You know we fly. These look incredible. I love the color and they smell amazing. Thank you so much for coming to the Cravings Kitchen and sharing this delicious recipe for salt fish fritters with me. Cheers, Mary. We're going to have an incredible lunch. Thank you for having me. You're so I had very so much fun. Cravings right here. Subscribe. Make sure that you subscribe. Also, share my channel and my videos with your family and friends. And ring the bell, that's YouTube's new bell icon. That's gonna notify you every time I upload a new video. And follow me on all of my social channels. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, and even Snapchat. Until we see you again, have a great day and happy eating. So Bye. delicious. Bye. Um. And they look incredible. Thank you, Mary, so much for coming by to the mm. Cravings Kitchen and teaching me how to make these delicious salt fish. I was going to say crackers. <laughs>